Hello folks, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5060 t and RTX 5060 have surfaced in shipping manifests, revealing that the GPUs will indeed feature GDDR7 memory and a 128-bit bus interface. Since Team Green has disclosed little about RTX 5060 class GPUs, leaks are the only source of information for us, which is why even a tiny detail matters a lot. Interestingly, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5060S with a P PG152 board and GB206 silicon have been spotted at NBD shipping manifests by video cards, and they confirm that the variants will indeed feature a 128-bit bus, validating the information we have seen in the past as well. The manifests also confirm three models within the RTX 5060 lineup, including 8 and 16 GB configurations of the RTX 5060 tier. While the memory bus won't see an update with the newer 60-class GPUs, the main a major difference in terms of performance will be due to the integration of GDDR7 memory modules, which will bump total bandwidth up to 448GB per second, offering a 55% boost over the RTX 4060 Ti. So this is where all the extra FPS would come from, although the key factor in the success of the RTX 5060 series release is what kind of perf per dollar value we can get out of these GPUs since the budget segment is pretty heated up. Diving into a quick recap of the RTX RTX 5060 series, the RTX 5060T is set to drop in two VRAM configurations, 8 and 16 gigabytes, featuring a TDP rating of 180W. The more budget-friendly RTX 5060 will feature 8 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, featuring 3840 CUDA cores and a decent generational difference in performance, mainly driven by the advanced memory type. Both GPUs are expected to be released somewhere in mid-April with two. $199 for the RTX 5060 and $399 and $499 for the RTX 5060T. Anyway, guys, I will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.